With us now is Meredith Jerica, and she's the MJ of Makeup Chunky. Okay, so makeup junky bags are really for people that just absolutely love their makeup and want to be able to have all their goodness all in one place. Yes. So <laughs> makeup, travel, anything that you want to store leak proof and flat in a beautiful bag that will lay on the counter and tuck into a travel item, my products are for you. So Meredith, when you started this company, it started because you kind of like hand sewed something together. Can you walk us through the early days of that? Yes, so I love makeup and the bag, it lays flat, it's rectangular and has a zipper down the middle versus on the top like most cosmetic bags. And now all of us use these big palettes and brushes Cosmetics has changed a lot, especially in the last few decades, but there was no makeup bag on the market keeping up with what was happening in the cosmetics industry. So I just went to the local craft store a few years ago and made the first makeup junkie bag. And locally, a lot of people wanted one. And I made larger sizes for hair care, shampoo, conditioner, hairspray, because they're leak proof. If something spills inside the bag, it'll protect your suitcase. And the rest is history. <laughs> Now we were just talking on, and I just said, oh, I wonder if my cell phone is off, but it wasn't. So it just went bing and that's fine, Meredith. So you're also in the middle right now, you're in Texas because there's a big show going on because originally you were gonna come here and sit right next to me. Um, yes. But what's the, big, what's the big show that you're at right now? Well, actually, we're based out of Texas, but we're in Atlanta right now. So we are at a huge wholesale show at America's Mart in Atlanta. So we wholesale to over 5,000 stores nationwide. So this is a big mecca where stores, any big fish from Bed Bath & Beyond all the way down to your little hometown boutiques, they come and shop all of the goodies that people manufacture across the country and things like that. And so we have a wonderful customer base that comes to buy for their stores from us. What I loved about our conversation that we were having the other day is that, so first you started this company and it got a little bit bigger and then a lot a bit bigger and that you've actually hired some of your friends and some of the local people uh, that are now part of your corporate team. Yes, um, it started off, I was a one woman show in my kitchen, just making these little bags as we used to call them. And um, then we just started growing and growing. So my friends who a lot of them worked um, in the medical or school industry with me since I was a speech therapist before, they started helping me on the side just because they love me. And then it turned into a job. So I started offering them commissions and payments and a few of them have even quit their jobs to join me and my sales force. And yeah, it's been a wild ride. Now this bag, uh, how does it actually work? Like how much stuff fits in it? Okay, so the medium size, which you're seeing now, so pretend like this is the table, it lays flat on the table, it zips down the middle, gapes open so you don't have to dig for your stuff, it's just sitting there on the counter, it holds a ton of product, it has a waterproof, beautiful interior, all different colors, the inside might be hot pink or red or cheetah print, and I sew them with a leak proof seam all the way around, and then of course it zips flat, we were in USA Today's 10 best travel items for maximum storage capacity with least room taken up in a travel suitcase so that's the medium and then of course the large operates the same way flat as a pancake with full-size products we actually have four different sizes in our travel set I am so happy for you as a women entrepreneur you know you have just made so much magic happen for yourself and for others and it wasn't like you set out to become this like superstar businesswoman <laughs> it's that you no. just needed something you created it and you found a niche for yourself uh, you also have uh, beautiful people around you, family people, little family people uh, that uh, yeah. you sometimes bring to work. <laughs> Yes, so I have two daughters. I have a five-year-old and an eight-year-old, and you know, they had to be virtually schooled for a lot of last year, and so being able to bring them to work with me, they have their own room there at the office, has been a blessing because you get to spend a lot more time than you thought you could, so they're being raised in a makeup bag factory, and they seem to enjoy it, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I same, same thing with my children. I used to always say, you know, if I was taking a business call, I'd be like, quiet on the set, you know, so now they're grown. They're like, 30 and 27 and 15, uh, but we often laugh sometimes. We're like, okay, quiet on the set. Um, continued <laughs> joy and success to you. Uh, what is your go-to, like how many bags when you travel uh, do you like to bring with you? Not the samples that you're showing to everybody else, but you personally, yeah. what are your favorite bags, your, your own personal collection? 
Well, most people use the large for hair care, but I have that much makeup when I travel that I use one large for hair care and one large for makeup. I also have a mini bag, which is our smallest size that I put Q-tips and hair ties and uh, small little items that get lost down, you know, in larger bags. Those are my go-to. And then there's a small size too, which you'll see um, on our website or on some of the uh, shows we've been on stuff. That is just the perfect little size. It slips in the purse. It slips in the travel bag, the suitcase. So I actually take two larges, one small and one mini typically on every business trip. Perfect. And so people could go to your website, they could get a collection, they could go to the store, they can find your bags everywhere. And so you called it, so because your name, your initials are MJ, and there you go, Makeup Junkie. Um, yes. It's a marriage made in heaven. Uh, so tell me one other thing, what's on the agenda for you now? Because I know for a fact that you got to be on Shark Tank, which is cool, right? So you keep dreaming and evolving and great things are happening. And what's right there for you? What's What's something that you're just reaching for that you know in your heart you're excited about? Um, well, we only, you know, a certain percentage of the U.S. knows about us, and we have a very loving cult-like following, so I'm excited to tell the rest of the world about us. And manufacturing in Texas is so powerful when you have all of these skilled seamstresses right in your own home, basically, in our own private facility, so we're making purses and bags and now we're making clothing anything wow. that can be sewn we're just going full force with it because it's just so much fun and the quality is amazing so we're just going to sew anything and everything that we can <laughs> so happy for you my grandma and i um we would always make my school clothes with my mom on a singer sewing machine and uh it was fun you know we'd always yeah. get like the butterick patterns and we'd get our own patterns and things like that so and i haven't mm -hmm. sewn in a while but you're making my fingers tingle as if i want to as if i want to hear that <laughs> bob and go Bleh. So maybe I'll come down and, and maybe I'll sit next to you and you can help me make a bag. You're more than welcome. We call it the mothership. We have over 18,000 square foot now of commercial space where we sew and ship and sell and operate out of. So we welcome visitors all the time, especially you. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a joy. And you know, you were talking about the collectability of your bags. Didn't you, mm -hmm. did you recently tell me or did I research it or someone told me that um, people go and they find like these original MJ bags that have like a sewn tag in it, hand sewn tag in yes. it. Yes, so um, like here's a little small guy here. So now what we do is there's a tag on the front and you cannot see the tag through the liner. When I was first making them in my home, I would sew the tag through the liner and the exterior fabric. So there's a square in there of stitching from where I would sew the tags on them. And they also had a felt tassel instead of a faux leather tassel. So women search for these bags and they sell them like baseball cards online. And some of them, uh, one of them, a $42 bag went for over $700 and I remember my eyes just were so big and I was like this is amazing but those ones I made with my own two hands are definitely collectibles in the makeup junkie world well you are just adorable and so much fun and uh, just so vibrant and I wish you continued success and thank you very much thank for um, celebrating what you're doing because I feel that people can see your journey and that you could um, help inspire them to follow their dreams in life so Meredith thank you so much thank you for having me okay I'll see you very soon I hope Okay, bye. Okay, be well.